In our first year of production, we, we produced just over 20 vehicles. Um, and I thought, well, maybe we, can be, we might one day be able to do 10 or 20 a week instead of 10 or 20 a year. Um, and the way things are tracking right now, we will actually have made over 10 million vehicles next year. What I'm here to tell you is that the future is incredibly bright and exciting. We care a lot about safety, so the safety of our cars and the safety of people within the factory. So you can see that our work-related injuries have declined over time. What's, what's the most exciting future that you could possibly imagine? Like, what does that future look like? How about a future where you can have any good or service you want at will? Um, a future of abundance for all, where really anyone can have anything. It, it sounds impossible. It sounds like surely such a thing cannot be the case. But I'm, what I'm here to tell you is that that will indeed be the case, that the future we're headed for is one where you can literally just have anything you want. What's key to that is robotics and AI. So once you have self-driving cars and you have autonomous humanoid robots, where everyone can have their own personal C-3PO and R2-D2, but even better than that, that's Optimus. The combination of things that we're making um, with Optimus and AI, com and AI compute will achieve uh, an, an age of abundance for all. Model Y became uh, the best-selling you know, vehicle in the world. So that's and it's for two years in a row. So, um, and it's going to be the best-selling car on Earth again this year. Um, we're also uh, building uh, the Tesla Semi factory. Uh, this is a vehicle that some people said was impossible to build. I, th I think ultimately we'll, we'll make over a million, m millions probably, of the Tesla Semi. And five years from now, uh, autonomous cars are going to be everywhere. Pr primarily going to be Teslas, by the way. <laughs> but autonomous Teslas will be everywhere. Even without the, the cyber cab, uh, we still actually have a gigantic fleet uh, that is capable of being autonomous. A typical passenger vehicle car will be used about 10 hours a week, but there are 168 hours in a week. So if you have a car that can, that's a robot car that can drive, drive autonomously, um, it can now be used potentially for 80, maybe 100 hours a week. So you could have a car that, it, that has 10 times the usefulness of, of, an, of a, of a non-autonomous car but it still costs the same. In fact, the fleets are already built. So the software update is, just enables that capability. Overnight, a, an increase in usefulness of 10 million cars that suddenly become like 50 million cars or maybe 80 or 100 million cars of usefulness overnight. To imagine a future where suddenly a 10 million vehicle fleet has five to 10 times the, the usefulness. Our supercharged network continues to grow significantly. Uh, if you want to have, ensure that your home has uninterrupted power uh, during a power outage, the Powerwolf 3 is the, is the way to go. Um, and uh, you, if you combine that with uh, solar, you, you can basically be off-grid. At this point, we think we're um, making the, 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 the most efficient uh, cell in the world, meaning like the, the lowest cost per kilowatt hour. Also investing in the whole battery supply chain, so we have uh, cathode production, uh, we have lithium re refining, um, and, and then more. <laughs> the Tesla, uh, what we call Cortex-1, it's like basically a giant brain, computer brain, uh, that is used for uh, AI training. So it's, we take the vast amounts of video that we get from all the cars in the fleet, and we use that to train the artificial intelligence to be able to drive the car. And, um, and this is one of the most powerful uh, training systems in the world. Uh, with uh, over 50,000 uh, GPUs active um, and soon to be 100,000 GPUs, uh, which will make it, I think, probably top five in the world in training centers. Uh, we're also make, continuing to make progress on our Dojo training super, supercomputer. So we've got uh, Dojo One uh, active now in uh, Gigafactory New York and in Palo Alto. It's doing a meaningful percentage, well, uh, I guess 5% or whatever. <laughs> Uh, but, but it's still something, five, maybe approaching 10% of the training load of, uh, of the uh, self-driving AI is being done by uh, Dojo. Um, and then we've got Dojo 2 that's uh, coming down the line. That'll be probably 10 times better than Dojo 1.
all Tesla vehicles have now had uh, what we call uh, autopilot hardware four, or really our AI four hardware, and uh, it's uh, it's really it's very powerful uh, AI inference computer. There actually isn't anything on the market that we can buy that is better than AI four. We actually have the cars doing useful work for the first time with no one in them, which I think is, is really it's a significant milestone. Um, so the cars are driving from end of line in Fremont to park themselves. Um, and I think we've just started uh, doing that here in, uh, in Austin. So we'll, we'll be, uh, yeah, the, this car, the car literally goes from end of line in Fremont to, to, its, to its destination parking spot where it gets picked up by a truck for delivery to a customer. With, and it go, does that with no one in it. It's not that uh, Tesla full self-driving will be equal to humans in safety. It will be ultimately 10 times safer than a human because it never gets tired. So the, the new Optimus uh, 22 degree of freedom hand and forearm is now in production. Um, and it's learning to walk and catch balls. It's pretty cool. I mean, I mean look, that's where we came from. It's wild. So in a very short period of time, uh, Optimus has gone from being uh, an idea to the most sophisticated humanoid robot on Earth. Our robot has a real brain. Um, you know, it's like the Wizard of Oz, Tin Man. Tesla's the, the leader in real-world AI. Um, what we learned in the car, we translate to, to the Optimus robot. Um, and we also trans take the, our expertise in electric motors, in batteries, power electronics, uh, structural design. And then another major important thing is that we're very good at manufacturing. So in order for robots to be useful, you have to, they, have to be, they have to be intelligent. They have to be able to do useful things just by asking. And you have to be able to make a large number of them um, at an affordable price. The, the only company with all the ingredients for making intelligent humanoid robots at scale is Tesla. Optimus will be the biggest product of all time by far. Nothing will even be close. It'll be, I think it'll be 10 times bigger than the next biggest product ever made. In fact, the line will move so fast that, you, that actually people can't even get close to it. Like that's, you know, I, I think it's, it'll be able to produce a car ultimately in less than five seconds. So this year, we, we hopefully will be able to make about um, 5,000 Optimus robots. But I think, we'll, I think we'll literally build a legion, at least one legion of robots uh, this year. Um, and then pro probably 10 legions next year. And I don't know, it's kind of a cool unit, you know. Second half of next year is, is, is when they'll be available. And then we'll, we, we will um, offer Optimus robots uh, first to uh, Tesla employees. If two days out of three, you're less wrong over time, you're gonna be, your batting average is gonna be really good. Uh, so never, nobody ever bats 1,000, but you can improve your batting average. So I think that's the way you want to look at it. Say, like, is, do, you, do you think this product, because that's the reason why companies exist, is to make great products and services. Uh, so if you think that a company is going to improve over time, then buy the stock. And if you don't, then don't. Long-range, fast electric airplane would be very cool. Uh, you know, maybe at some point we'll do that. Yeah, that'd be kind of fun.